Ted Cruz's dad, Rafael Cruz, went on a conservative radio show and he was asked about abortion and his response is just as dumb as you'd expect. So my question for you is about the life issue. What do you see in your, from your perspective on the life issue in America where we've terminated 57 million recorded abortions since 73? Well, as a matter of fact, of course, you know, the, the blood of 57 million babies is crying out to God, just like the blood of Abel cried out to God. But, you know, what we need to do is turn the tables on the progressives. You know, the progressives keep talking about the war on women. Let me tell you the real war on women. Of those 57 million babies that were murdered by abortion, Half of them, 28 and a half million, were girls. That's the real war on women. 57 million mothers are walking around with the emotional scars of abortion that only Jesus can heal. That's the real war on women. We need to turn it on them. When they talk to you about the right to choose, ask them, who chooses for that baby? Who, who gives the right to that baby to choose life? We cannot acquiesce to their rhetoric. Amen. And they have been ahead of us every single time. They have put us on our heels. But, Pastor Raphael, what you are saying is we need to put them on the defensive and stop being on the defensive ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, you know, E.W., they also, they steal the language. Pro-life or pro-choice. No, that's not the language. The language is pro-life or pro-death. They are pro-death. They are pro-murder, not pro-choice. Yes, we are pro-murder. So let's understand this properly. What he's saying is the people who are against the Iraq war, where at least 200,000 civilians died, by the way, is a direct result of us going in there and more than a million displaced. I mean, the list goes on and on of how terrible it was. The people who are against that, the people who are against the war in Afghanistan, the people who are against the drone strikes killing civilians in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia, the people who are uh, against torture, we are actually pro-murder. Whereas him, I mean, just the, this precious little snowflake of a conservative, those guys are not pro-murder, even though they're for all the, all the things I just named. They were for Iraq, they're for Afghanistan, they're for the drone strikes, they were for, for torture, which killed multiple people, by the way, who died in the midst of being tortured. But no, they're still somehow pro-life, even though they're quite literally pro-death, and they even support the death penalty! Right? Oh, we love Jesus and we're pro-life, except for the death penalty. We're for that. Even though, mind you, about 4% of the people on death row are innocent, according to recent studies. But I know, it's us big bad evil liberals who are uh, pro-murder. And I know when he brings up the point about uh, the war on women. Right, man, the people who are for equal pay and they're for the Violence Against Women Act, uh, we of course, are against women, but those guys who filibustered equal pay for equal work and filibustered the Violence Against Women Act and blocked it multiple times, those guys really, they love women. And, you know, the people who, for example, the conservatives who are in favor of transvaginal ultrasounds, which is state-sanctioned rape, the state puts something in your vagina when there's no need to do that. The people who support that, no, I know, they're pro-woman. They're pro-woman in the sense that they're pro-women getting raped by the state. I got you, man. We are the ones who are anti-women. We are the ones who are pro-murder. See, that's the thing. There is no reasonable conversation to be had with a person like Rafael Cruz. He's just a fringe, wing-nut loser who doesn't know anything about real policy conversations. Look, I'm happy to sit down and debate the issue of abortion with somebody who's genuine. But you don't have a genuine position. Your position is that of a, you know, of backwards people who 
believe stuff without getting all the facts. Your position is, I'm against it in every case, in all cases, no matter what, you know, even if it's rape and incest and the life of the mother is in danger or the fetus is already going to die. I'm already, I'm already against it. It doesn't matter. I'm against it. I'm against it. I'm against it. Well, then you're not allowed at the big boys table to have a real conversation because you're, you're an ideologue is what you are. Whereas on our side, look, I've said many times, I'm a moderate on the issue of abortion. So, in, I see many of the arguments that smart pro-lifers make, but you're not one of them. And your crowd, it, you're just not smart on this. I get it, man. If we're talking about after viability, sure, it shouldn't be free for all, anybody get an abortion for any reason, whatever. I'm with you on that. But you still have to allow the exceptions of rape, incest, life of the mother, and fatal fetal defect. And before viability, so before 22 weeks, what the fuck out of her life? It's her, her choice, not yours. See, this son of a bitch would tell us that a zygote is equal to Dave Robinson, your neighbor who's 46 years old and has a wife and three kids. But see, that's a stupid thing to say. A zygote, a gamete, an embryo, a pregestation fetus. There's a reason why they have different names and we don't just call them human from when they're one cell big because it's fundamentally a different thing. But they, they gloss, but push all that aside, gloss over it, and say, no, it doesn't matter. I'm against it no matter what. And if you disagree with me, then you're pro-murder. Right. Everybody who's even in favor of saying, hey, you could terminate a zygote. You can terminate a gamete. You can terminate an embryo if you're a week in. Yes, all those people are pro-murder. You're 100% right. So every modern country in the world today, since we all have abortion, we are all equal to Nazi Germany. We're all doing a holocaust today because we allow gametes to be terminated yes either that or you are a clown who doesn't understand nuance and complexity 